Hello, in today's video we are going to do authentic Jamaican jerk chicken and with that let's get into it. Guys, in the description below, don't sweat about it. All the ingredients and the steps, just go check that out. While we make this food today, do you know the story behind Jamaican jerk? Well, here is some information about the origins. It is much more than just a seasoning or a flavor. Jerk is a whole culture worthy of celebrating. The slave trade brought hundreds of thousands of enslaved Africans to America to work in the sugarcane plantations of British Jamaica. The conditions were beyond deplorable and many brave enslaved people escaped to the nearby Blue Mountains in the east of Jamaica. They combined their traditional cooking methods with the local Arawak indigenous people and BAM! Jerk Spice was born. The slaves who escaped were called Maroons because of the American Spanish word Cimarron which translates to the beast who cannot be tamed or living on mountaintops. And live they did. From this extraordinary life comes jerk spice. Partly out of necessity and partly out of their desire to embrace their culture. And I am grateful to the Maroons for the lasting legacy they gave us in this delicious tasting food. We go to Jamaica and the Caribbean on a regular basis and every single time we go there the chicken is over the top on how amazing jerk chicken is. So when we get back here the first thing we do is we make jerk chicken. This stuff is awesome. So once you have all the ingredients together, give it a stir. So guys, we are using quarter piece cut up chicken. You can use eight pieces, but generally just use this from a sizing perspective. We have made our own seal bag. If you don't have one of those vacuum seal machines, use a conventional bag. One of the things that I do is I fold the top of the bag over by about two inches. The reason why I do that, it gives you the ability to actually hold the bag open while you're pouring the liquid, as well as uh, instead of trying to get everything to fit into the bag perfectly, as humans we tend to make a mess, or let me rephrase that, I tend to make a mess, therefore I fold the bag over and whatever mess is on the lip it gets folded back and there is no mess to be cleaned up. So just a cool little trick, like, share, subscribe, put the notification bell on so you don't get to miss out another one of these videos. Let's get the stuff poured and hopefully with no mess. That is impressive, no mess. Well done. We have a sealed bag. Put this in the refrigerator, let it marinate for, I don't know, five, six hours, and we can then get it onto the braai, which is an Africanism for this video, is braai, which is a barbecue. We're gonna use charcoal and wood. So with this fire, we used a combination of charcoal and wood. The reasoning why we're doing a combo between the two is that the wood will give it a light smoke flavor, while the charcoal will give it the heat that it is needed. To determine the temperature of the fire and when it is good to put meat onto the grate, if you can keep your hand on top of the fire for a any between 8 to 10 seconds and you do not feel a major oh my god I'm about to burn myself then it is good to go so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten this is good to go we've taken the chicken out it's been warming up out of the refrigerator at air temperature for about 30 minutes let's take it out the bag and check it out Cool. 
Cool, let's get this on the fire. Beautiful and cooked. Let's get into this. Mm, wow. The flavors are incredible. The sweetness from the sugar, the tangy zestiness from the peppers, the level of acidity is incredible. It is all wrapped around the smell and the, and the aromas of the smoke through the wood two and a quarter hours of cooking. This is beyond delicious. Perfectly, perfectly done. Mm. Guys, give this a go. Everybody will be wowed. And with that, catch you guys on the next one.